He's over there. Siora, Bertir to mad, Donegad. What are you doing with these strangers? These strangers are my friends, Karadeg. You can speak in front of them without fear. What do you want? Tell me about your role as Keeper of Promises. What does it consist of? Most words must be free and able to fly like birdsong. But some words must survive those who utter them. So they call on the Keepers of Promises. Those who want to become one must win the trust of the Donegada and prove their wisdom. Then they teach us the words of stone. And when someone wants to seal a promise, we offer them those words. So you're a kind of cleric? Hmm. Thank you, Karadek. Do you want to know anything else? We would like to ask you about a stone you supposedly engraved. It is the stone of the Rinaigs, isn't it? Oh, he should never have accepted to seal such a promise. Oh, he did not like them. But I could not refuse to fulfill my duty. Not when Bladnid was demanding it. And now that she is no longer with us, these Monasinaiga are chasing me. It is because you are the last person to know what was engraved on it. The stone has been destroyed. I kept the piece of tree bark in which I prepared the glyphs. All the details are there. With this tree bark, we could verify what my mother promised. Can you give it to us? No, Donegad. I do not mean to disrespect you, but I will not. Rinaigse only bring us trouble, and you come with them. They will disappoint you just like they disappointed your mother. I do not want to deal with them ever again. They threaten my life. And because of them, I am forced to hide here. Since you want to chase the Renaigse away, and since you want protection, why don't you join the Rebels? We could indicate the location of one of their camps for you. The Rebels? The Donea ex Regal. They fight the Renaigse, and they accept people from all clans. I have heard about them, but I didn't know where to find them. We could help you join them, but we need this tree bark. It's the only way to prove that the priests lied. In that case, take the tree bark. I hope that it will help you to chase these Renaigse away, Donegad. And I did not think I would say this one day. But thank you, Renaigse. What do these glyphs say? that we will assist the priests in their war against the lions, and they must help us in return. There is nothing about the spirits of the people of the village, or renouncing our traditions. I knew they were lying. Let's show this to his end. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Could you tell me about Siora? You are right there, and you let him talk about you like this. Asir? That's a strange friend you have there. Perhaps I wanted to hear how you'd reply. Perhaps, but I don't like this. Did you want anything else? Azeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new?
We went to Falristel to see the stone. Were you able to read it, Siora? No, because it was destroyed by someone. I am certain that the priests did it to protect their lies. You're probably right, but for as long as we cannot prove it... We retrieved the piece of tree bark that Karadeg used as a model. Siora, what's written on it? Mother promised to help them against the lions, and they promised to help us in return. There's nothing mentioned about them settling here. And even less about them being entitled to the spirits of the people of our village. So they lied. They mocked us and insulted the memory of our mother. I think it's high time they left. Don't you agree? I think so too. Come on, let's go. You lied to us. You took us for gullible children. Leave this village at once. You will never be welcome here again. But if you want our help with the Alliance, your people must convert to the light. Petrus, could you try to reason with them? My brothers and sisters, you have tried to convert this village in a deceitful manner, but your attempt has failed. It's time for you to recognize your defeat and leave this place with dignity. Father, do you really think that... Come on. We cannot disobey a bishop, sister. We better leave now. I did not think they would leave of their own accord. Thank you, Anol Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lawyers. And we will be able to perform our rituals and give our mother back to the earth. Yes. Thank you. Our village is in your debt. Siora, I will need you for the ritual. Will you help me? Of course, Asir. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. Could you help me? What is it? I must prepare the ritual for our mother's funeral. And I think that I will need your help. But your sister will be there. Surely you'd rather be together. For the ritual, yes, it will only be the two of us. But before that, your support would be a great help. Will you come with me? Of course. I'd be happy to be by your side. Let's go. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later.
Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? I'm only here to accompany Siora. I came to give our mother back to the Earth, Iseld. It is high time we did, I know. Performing the ritual might help me feel less empty. Iseld, I miss her too. Did you go to Vasrigan? No. Preparing the place is the role of the Donegada. I was afraid I would not do things properly. We are approaching Vazrigan. This is where I will perform the ritual. This burial mound has been the final resting place of our queens for generations. It must be prepared before we can start the ritual. <laughs> What do you mean? I don't see anything peculiar. You think intruders would risk coming here? She's right. Something isn't quite normal. And yet everything seems normal to me. <laughs> I do not understand what they are doing in this area. You never see any around here. They must have nested in the shadow of the burial mound. In that case, we have no choice but to destroy their nests. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming back. You are right. We cannot let these carnivores roam so close to my mother's remains.
will no longer trouble the peace of our queen. All we have to do now is to take care of the ceremony. Is there anything else to prepare? Of course. We will need some sensors crafted especially for the ritual. Where can we find them? It would be ideal if we could craft them ourselves, but otherwise the village artisan probably sells them. And I will also need some mortuary lotion. I will have to coat my mother's body with it before giving her back to the earth. I will give you a list of all the ingredients because we will have to prepare it ourselves. The merchants won't sell it. Once we have gathered these last items, then Iseld and I will be able to perform the ritual. I thank you for being by my side and helping me the way you are. It... it means a lot to me. Don't mention it, Siora.
We have all that we need. Let's go back to the burial mound to put everything in place. Here we are. It is on this stone altar that we will place the body of my mother. We must place a sensor where her head will be, and another near her feet. And then, you will have done everything you could to help me. And I am infinitely grateful for it. Your presence by my side means a lot to me. But only my sister and I can participate in this ceremony. This is how our ritual of the dead is performed. Do you understand? Everything is in place. Thanks again, Honor Manawi. My sister should be joining me soon. You should wait outside. Oh, these rituals are demanding. But they help us to say goodbye to those we love. You have been a true friend. A Karantz, accepting to help me the way you did. Thank you. I will never forget the kindness you displayed. Conforming to our customs and staying by my side. It's only natural, Siora. I know what it feels like to lose someone who is dear to you. We should go now. It is time to return to the living. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later.
Karantz. Do you need... I must leave you. See you later. Desade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. We haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then, all of a sudden, one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please, allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. Your soldier is nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me. What is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp. But I heard screams. From men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound. Grinding, like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. Thank you, Lieutenant. You are dismissed. I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes, sir. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway, if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The Islander convinced him to go on some journey. By Islander, do you mean the Denegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes. A, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you ask me, sir. I, I was ordered to set up patrol along a small path, rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the Islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off. And I went running to help. I heard an enormous crashing sound li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here? Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No, not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islander said they were following the path. But he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. Why didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide? What? Alone? What could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. I'm still having trouble deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. But that's a question for your superiors. My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided to follow the Denegad? His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to His Highness. But that islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their counsel. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition. 
that your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into? Again? I am sorry, sir. But I don't know anything else I could tell you. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, sir. I must await the verdict from my superior. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. It wasn't a landslide that did this, but combat. A deadly one. I sure hope our little governor has escaped the carnage. Someone or something attacked and tore everything to shreds. This seems all too familiar. It looks more like a battlefield. I hope that Omegad and your cousin survived the fight. May the Illuminated bring them assistance. This camp is no more. Search the zone. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what's happened here. This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the zone and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It isn't really a place of a cult, uh, but rather a place of... anchoring. A place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps Katasak wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. There are bodies, and without a doubt, there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. The corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly until the end. Neither Constantine nor Katasak are among them.
This blade is a native ritual knife. And this bowl contained a potion. Someone wanted to perform a ritual here. Could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms? Crater. Without a doubt caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying them. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. Constantine and Katasak must have been visiting this place. Perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened, and many fell during the fight. But a group was able to escape down this path. We need to continue following their tracks. More tracks, footprints. They must have fled this way. Strange. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? Another burnt tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames. Put a poison on my blade, and let's go! <laughs> These poor soldiers were torn to pieces. Animals again, or something else. More signs of an explosion. I can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. New footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. There are not only the corpses of our own men, but where could these other soldiers have come from? These are coin guard. But I couldn't tell you if they served the Bridge Alliance or Teleme. More signs of explosions. But what were they doing with all these explosives on them? footprints. Only a handful made it up to here. My dear child, what can I do for you? I'll see you later, father. Take care, my child. The path stops on this overhang. And despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantine or Katasach. were broken, as if they had taken cannon fire. What could have happened here? I don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. According to this note, this troop came from an outpost of the Bridge Alliance close by. A patrol, no doubt. Could the bridge in some way be linked to this attack? That makes no sense. These vials look familiar. Katasach used the very same to stock his potions. He must have come here. I'm going to pick them up. I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine, what have you gotten yourself into again? 
Very well. Let's sum things up. Constantin and Katasach definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual, but they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? The attack seems to have begun below, at the campsite. Or on this site of witchcraft. Only beasts seem to have attacked. Animals would not have attacked a group of armed men willingly. Unless they were guided. You are thinking of Katasach, are you not? Who else? After all, he has gone missing as well now. This warlock is no idiot. He saw an opportunity to seize a prime hostage and he took it. A dying hostage? I don't know. He really seemed to have Constantine's well-being at heart. You are thinking of Katasak? <laughs> Frankly, I doubt that the healer could have transformed himself into an avenging monster. I admit that the attack of these animals is suspicious, but that he had any part of it. I know. I can't convince myself either. But which other Denegad could have attacked? No colonist understands how to control the fauna of this island. Whereas for the native wise men... You believe Katasak could have orchestrated this attack? Who else? You know all too well that with your cousin a hostage, you would be obliged to see to the demands of the natives. He would then have only accepted to treat him in order to gain his trust. I don't know. You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katasach. Unless he himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegad. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he now has leverage to apply to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. But regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. We could return to Wen Xavier to learn more. Perhaps Katasak returned there. Or maybe his Voglandai could tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers were involved in the combat, or at least the end of it. They must have some stories for us. And they are guards, who have proven their loyalty as constant as the ocean. Their presence here might not have been simply coincidental, or they might have just taken advantage of a fortunate situation. I must admit the possibility did cross my mind. And you think that they would have taken Constantine? Is that possible? Maybe he was in need of treatment. But if you suspect them to have participated in the combat to capture him, I think you're wasting your time. I know the captain of that outpost. A pessimistic man who would never order an attack without being absolutely certain of total victory without losses. Perhaps, unless he was simply obeying orders. It does belong to the coin guard, after all. I doubt that the Alliance would have decided to openly attack their ally. Don't forget that they owe their continued presence on the island to you. And thanks to you, I know. But their men were there, on the cliff. And Constantine is no longer among us. Maybe those men are still loyal to the preceding commander. That trail seems a better one to follow. Katasach is a good man, but the soldiers and the lions have already betrayed you. That's true, but I do not see how they could have made these animals obey them. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay.
colonials. You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? Desarde. I am legate of the congregation of merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, sir? I'm looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rat hole? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive. Wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me? I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? Captain, my name is Afra. you might remember me. I passed by this outpost with my fellow scholars. The Lost Expedition? Yes, I remember. His Excellency was able to extract us from the situation we found ourselves in. His Excellency has powers that I do not possess. I'm casting no stones at you. You are isolated and without resources, and understandably a bit angry. You have the feeling that the powerful of this world have abandoned you, and you want to make them pay. But a life hangs in the balance. We must save him. <sighs> You were right. I will tell you everything I know. One of the men I posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just... Refusing to die. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? Concerning the young man that survived. Did you see the nurse? Not yet. Really? I thought that your cousin's life hung in the balance. This boy will not survive long if someone doesn't help him. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. doing there this is an infirmary I know I've come to see the wounded soldier the captain told me you might need my help that is very kind of him but alas it's a little late what are you saying is the soldier 
No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Were you able to concoct the potion against Burns? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. Uh, we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? The nurse told me. I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days, and we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming. In our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the Coin Guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Constantine Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. 
Oh, I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and I, I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching. Rebels, I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. <laughs> and you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes, it's best I leave now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. told that you saved my soldier. Thank you. You can't imagine what this means to us. Please. I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me. Did you learn what you needed to learn? Yes. I was able to question your man and he told me what he saw. He and his company heard sounds of the attack and they went to investigate. My cousin's escort were already nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good man, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency.
Hello. Rinaigse, there you are again. What do you want? To speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort. A soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield. I know that you see us as your enemies, but we are not here to harm you. I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother, as well as the man who is protecting him. Katisach, one of your greatest Donegada. No Donea Exregal would attack Katisach. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katisach, and avorst, Tire. He died from his wounds. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. We went to sea, but we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there, and many of the Renaigse were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantine. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaixe? Examine him to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body, you will pay for this offense with your life. Seeing the state of his body, I hate myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Denegad, to have doubted your loyalty and even more for what we are about to do. Now then, let's see what story this corpse has to tell.
The corpse retains the marks of a bludgeoning. There are large bruises all over it. I can see no wounds that could be attributed to a blade or a musket shot. The major wound is found on the chest, which was crushed by something tremendous, to the degree that the skin was torn. The ribs are in pieces and the organs punctured. The edges of the wound are singed and smell of burnt flesh. There is a powdery spot on this wound, as if from ash or dusty gravel. Katasak bore the brunt of this attack or incredible force. I would venture to say it was inhuman. I can only imagine one thing that could have inflicted such a wound. It's as if an enormous burning stone hit him right in the center of the chest. And seeing as how the bodies of the soldiers we found were sporting wounds of a similar nature, we can deduce that we're on the tracks of a man or a creature capable of using molten rock as a weapon. I can't imagine an Adaig behaving like this. It is not their way. That they might attack careless hunters or warriors, true, but to attack Katasach. The power to call volcano fires could only be that of a guardian. No simple man wields mountain fire. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned or angered by what happened to Katasach? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives, your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All the same, there is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegat would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help, then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, Fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tierna Hachadachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin.
Hello, Mev. Renoixi, why have you come here again? Can you tell me about Enon Mil Frichtemen? I already told you. He is the god of a thousand faces. His spirits, which run in the rivers, carry our steps. They flow under the bark of the trees and whisper in our ears through the breeze. They are our father, our protector, our healer, and our grave digger. They are the source and the cycle, but I doubt that some Renaixe could understand that. What is the role of a Tierna Hachkadactus? In every generation, all the Donegada of the island choose a Tierna Hachkadactus. She has to be the best of them all. She advises them, and sometimes guides them. She must help them to remember that everything they receive must be given back. That we are part of a cycle. She must know all the secrets of the island. Pass them on to those who are deserving and protect them from the Moni Sinaig. And no, I won't entrust you with these secrets. You are on all Menawi, but you are not a Donegad. I've come to ask you for help. My help? You still seek the remedy for the sickness on your island? Or are you looking for something else? My cousin has been taken, and I've been told that you could help me. Truly? And in what way? By performing the Anatalus Fair on the body of Katasach, the Donegad. Katasach is dead. Under Vushtire. This is a great tragedy. He was a good man. Perhaps the best of us all. How did this happen? He went with my cousin to a sacred site when they were attacked. My cousin has disappeared, taken, according to a witness. And Katasak suffered terrible wounds. We examined him, and it seemed as if he had been struck by molten rock. Fire of the earth? Only the Nadaig Manemen have the power to wield it. But none of our own would have attacked Katasak. This is why we need your help. We want to understand and to find who's responsible. Will you leave him alive as well? What do you mean? You let the one who tried to kill me go. That is true. But I can't yet tell you what I will do to the one responsible for this. At least we'll have a chance to find Constantine. Because it is your true reason to act upon this, no? <sighs> Whatever your reasons deep down, I too would like to understand. Our island wails in suffering. Many Sinol Menawi have died. The Anatalas Fair may kill me, but at least I will know. You will need to act as my Voglendaig, and bring to me the necessary ingredients while I prepare. What do you require? A potion. And listen and remember, or write in your language what I shall tell you. Do not forget, the viscera of the scavengers must be taken from a place near the battlefield because they contain the flesh of those who fell. As for the personal object of Katasach, find his weapon, because it knew his fury and his despair. He didn't have a weapon when I found his body. I'll search the battlefield. Where can I find him? In Doren's camp. She recovered him after the battle. Very well. Not far from there is a sacred circle. You'll find me there when you have united all that I need. Then we can perform the ritual when the moon is high. In that case, let's go together to the ritual site. The place of the attack is not far from Duren's camp. Very well. I'll follow you.
I recognize this weapon. It's Catasax, I'm certain. It must have been broken during the battle. Let's take it back to Mev. Were you able to find the elements I need for the ritual? Yes. Here is what you asked me to bring. This is good. But the moon is not yet high enough. Would you like to wait with me? Yes. I'll keep you company. Sit then in that case. And remain silent. I must meditate.
Katasar, we have come to learn the truth of your death. Ato al konfrangawi brandi, olehana memen adestame haman. Bara vriden anta hanemo kwate grenfem, linkui dam da renau te da hodos. Lemat, de ta hawan kloisam, de ta lugedon velam. De ta ragam buledam, de ta tamenam reloidan, a de ta lamen kantebedam, en antelam per fraktan go! Katasak, help me, please! Show no fear. I do not think he means you any harm. <gasps> what is this? This monster? Why is it attacking us? I don't know. I don't understand. It is as if it seeks you out. It wants you. You never should have done that, Katasakh. To save one, Renaikse, you put us all in great peril. His spirit is different. He receives badly. You have woven the bond of the Deathbringer. What is happening to you? Get a hold of yourself. Come on! I cannot believe it. He has returned. Who has? Finbar. The High King. We thought he was dead. He disappeared months ago. Is he the attacker? And what of Constantine? Have you seen a young, blonde-haired man? He was sickly. Yes. The golden haired was there. And he was afraid. Katasakh protected him before he was killed by Finbar. Leave me now. I am very tired. How are you feeling? Better. What are you going to do now? If I want to have any hope of finding Constantine, I must follow Finbar. I have no choice. Do you know where to look for him? Finbar has been missing for moons. The kings and queens could tell me when they saw him for the last time. Then you must earn their trust. Arm yourself with patience and courage on all Manawi. Your journey is still long. Thank you, Mev. You have helped us greatly. Do not thank me. I have not done this for you, but for Katasakh. In order to satisfy my curiosity, I betrayed my king. You will find him and confront him, no doubt. All that remains for me to do is to pray that I have done nothing that cannot be fixed. Farewell, Mev.
Karantz. Do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I'm in need of your help, Ulan. I'm looking for your High King Vinbar. I was told that you were one of the last people to see him. <laughs> I wouldn't know where you could find him. He disappeared moons ago. But you are our ally. Our friend. I will tell you about the last time I met with him. We had met in the Council. At Dorhad Genadu, to decide what to do about the Renaigse. But we were unable to come to an understanding. Some of us are full of violence and refuse to see what we gain by befriending your kind. Deirdre and the poor Bladnid were among them, alas, and only speak about the massacres. I defended you, of course, and attempted to make them hear reason with some help from the cautious Dunkas. But our disagreement angered Vimbar. He decided to leave us and to seek counsel elsewhere. He wanted to go to the heart of the island to consult with En on Milfrigdiman. Do you think he might have stayed there? I doubt it. It was too long ago. You should travel to Wenshavar, his village, even if he decided to stay away from his people. He would not have abandoned his closest friends. Thank you, Ula. Anything else? Nothing. I must go. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later.
Build Tilto Mud on Old Manawi. Esquetu. Hello. I'm sorry, but I do not speak your language. Really? Then you are a Renaigze. I have never met one with the bond. Might I do something for you? I am looking to find Vinbar, the High King of Tirfredi, and I was told that he was born in this village. He disappeared after visiting the heart of the island, but I was hoping someone here might know where he's hiding. You should speak with Sarah. She is the companion of our king. Where might I find her? I do not know. She left the village and I have not seen her in several days. Anything else? What can you tell me about your village? Wenshavar means the water of the peaks in our language. The sky is our roof, the mountain our cradle, and the birds our companions. They offer us their feathers that we weave with wool to make clothing that is appreciated by the Donegada. And also, of course, it is the village that has given birth to the one chosen for our Hoi King for many cycles. Anything else? What can you tell me about the High King? You must know him well. He is a great Donegad. Wise, just, and through him, the En On Mil Frictimen makes their voice be known. But he has been gone for several moons. What the mountain gives us, sometimes it takes away. And I, for one, believe that the mountain has taken him back. Anything else? Tell me about Sarah. She is a ferocious warrior. And like I told you, she is the Menundanem, the companion of the Hoi King. They gave themselves one to the other many cycles ago, and their bond is very strong. Perhaps that is why she has left, because she no longer could bear his absence. Anything else? Goodbye. What hour am I? It is rare to see Renaixe here. Is there something I can do for you? I'm looking for High King Vinbar. I know that he disappeared after having visited the heart of the island. But someone here, in this village, might know where he went after that. If anyone knows, it would be Sarah. But you will not find her here. Anything else? Would you know where I could find Sarah? She left to follow Vimbar. She wanted the mountains to take her as well. What do you mean? We don't know if Renaixe could understand. Our High King is on Olmenawi, and a Donegad. His bond with the mountain is very strong. Even stronger now that he speaks with the En Olmil Frichtimen. Do you mean to say that he is becoming one of those giant creatures? This phenomenon is truly incredible. I would so like to understand how it works. Seda knew that the mountain would take him back, and she wanted the mountain to take her as well. She went to attempt to bond herself to it. She sought the cavern of knowledge. We haven't seen her since. She might have succeeded. Anything else? Where is this cavern of knowledge located? We don't know. The caverns of knowledge are the concern of the Donegada. Anything else? Thank you for your help. Where are you?
beurt eer toe, man. Renoikse. Partier toe, man. Mat, I do something for you. I heard talk about a cavern of knowledge. It is a place where the Donegada go, within the earth. They hear the voices of those that went before them, and they learn. There are some on Tiafradi. The closest to our village is found to the northeast of here. But the entrance is sealed, hidden. It is a sacred place. A place for only the Donegada. Anything else? Goodbye. What our am saying? Fight! Make a shadow in 